Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for another exciting Blue Ray Monday shopping trip. <laughs> yes, I've just been into Greg's because I'm nowhere near a McDonald's at the moment. Um, there's a bit of queuing, Greg's. I suppose everybody queuing up to get their um, bacon rolls and all that kind of shit. Um, and I was like, come on, must go faster, must go faster, must go faster. We got Blu ray hunting to get to. Yes! So, um,. Oh, excuse me. Back in the car now, and we're going to whip off over to Westwood Class. Go and have a look at some dino size Blu rays and 4Ks and all that kind of shit. Plus, also Superman. That's not the Superman theme, is it? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I know the Superman theme. Yeah, yes, um. There's some crazy woman getting in a car there wondering why I'm going like that. <laughs> it's called Blu-ray hunting love. Get used to it. Yes, um... Oh, I think she heard that as well. <laughs> but, uh, yes, let's get in the car, down to Westwood Cross, do some Blu-ray hunting. Spoop... <laughs> Spooperman. Spooperman. Is that a cross between Spider-Man and Super... Oh! Maybe I've thought of the next great supervillain or the ne next great superhero. Superman meets Spider-Man all in one. Yes. Wow. He can web swing while he's x-raying you. <laughs> oh, God. Barbara. What did they put in this cappuccino? It's too early in the morning for that kind of stuff. Right, let's get on the road. Let's get... In the you know where we're going. I'll see you down there. Okay, don't make a sound. If you don't make a sound, he won't hear us. Okay, so no display at the top of the escalator, uh, just a firework display. So let's head over to the Blu-rays. Okay, so here we are at the Blu-ray charts. So we've got the standard Blu-ray exclusive two disc edition, including a digital download, uh, exclusive to Sainsbury's, including over one hour of extras. So that's very nice. So that's £15. Uh, we also have the 3D edition as well. Uh, and all of these seem to have the same covers. So we have the Blu-ray and the digital download as well on the 3D edition. And that's 18 We have the 4K. Uh, £25. Fantastic. Yeah, as you see, all of these, they've all got the same covers. Which is a bit of a shame because... Uh, there could have been an option for a few different variations. We've also got a two movie collection on Blu-ray. So both Jurassic Worlds there. And that's only £18, so that's the same price as the 3D edition. Uh, also today is Adrift. Uh, Shailene Woodley and Sam Claflin. Claflin. I saw this at the cinema. Quite a good film it was about this... Uh, a couple that got stranded in the middle of nowhere for, for days on end. It's a pretty good film, so that's £15. Uh, Fantastic Beasts, they bought that out because of the new film that's coming out sh shortly. So you can pick that up with a slip uh, for £10. Pretty good. Also the Harry Potter 8 film collection as well for £40. Uh, we also have Hudson Hawk which I have seen, but I don't remember seeing much of it. It was years ago, we're talking decade or two ago, and, and that's £15 if you want to pick that up. And there's also Phase 3 of the Marvel Studios uh, Cinematic Universe, six film collection, collectible art cards and posters, plus a bonus disc. 
so we've got all the nice collection there and that's a very reasonable 35 pounds so they're the main ones um, let's have a look see what else we've got on here uh, we've got the Sicario 2 from last week uh, we've also got Band of Brothers and the Pacific which look like they've been maybe reboxed because they were in those silver tins so they've been repackaged I suppose uh, in celebration of um, the 11th of November so I know it's mainly World War 2 but uh, they've been repackaged at £10 each what else have we got here um, we've got a two movie collection for Cannonball Run one and two there so that looks very nice that's £15 uh, they also have both the, the standard Blu-rays for They Live and The Fog. And remember I couldn't get the, either these or the 4Ks from HMV. Okay, over onto the DVD chart. So we've got the exclusive two disc edition there for £10. Plus two movie collection as well for £15. And also a drift and that's £10. Uh, there's also a film called Robin Hood The Rebellion includes exclusive bonus movie King Arthur. Is that Brian Blessed? It is Brian Blessed. Also we have a couple of uh, younger viewers movies here as well and down here we have the cinematic universe Phase 3 for £25 on DVD. Also Tag as well, which is a new release, which there doesn't seem to be a Blu-ray release that I've seen so far. Uh, we also have Justice League Throne of Atlantis. Christmas Time with Peter Rabbit. That's £5. Uh, the Hobbit DVD trilogy there, plus also the 70th anniversary D-Day Remembered. And that's a that's a new release, so that's eight pounds. Have we got anything else up here? Uh, nice Christmas one, Elf there for three pounds if you want to pick that up. Plus also the Grinch for five. It's a wonderful life, so all the Christmas films. Plus also the Band of Brothers and the Pacific, and these have looks like these have been repackaged as well. Uh, and these are both seven pounds each and also Mandy as well in the standard DVD okay let's have a look at the TV charts so what have we got here so we've got Widows uh, which is nothing to do with the film plus also the Detectorists which I never did see this this is the complete one Three to three and Christmas special. Uh, and that's twenty pounds. We have the complete collection there of porridge for ten, and the detectives. Blimey, I didn't know they were digging this up. Includes all thirty-one episodes, five series of the hit comedy. Great show that was. Really funny. But uh, yeah, I didn't realise they were they were actually releasing that. Plus also uh, French and Saunders, which they haven't got. Alan Partridge, so they're digging up all the old DVDs. Uh, Sickness and in Health, One Foot in the Grave. Down here, what have we got? So we've got a couple of World War I commemorative DVDs. Pathfinders, the complete series. We've got Vietnam War. Uh, we've got a nice, that's a nice box. World War One, a centenary collection. That's quite heavy as well. So it looks like it's a series of uh, maybe mini movies or TV movies in there. And that's £15. Star Wars Rebels there, season four for 11. And over here we have the complete animated Batman series very nice very big box and this is the DVD set and this is 40 pounds so that's quite that's quite expensive 
Uh, we also have the complete series for man in a suitcase as well. Uh, and that's strangely 19 pounds. Why not 20? 19? I don't know. Okay, and this 70th anniversary D-Day Remembered box set that's on DVD, it's not actually a series of documentaries, it's actually full-length movies. You've got D-Day, 6th of June, The Longest Day, Bridger Ramagen, Von Ryan's Express, Battle of Britain, Patton, Attack and A Bridge Too Far. So you've got eight, I think, an eight disc set featuring eight full-length movies. So that's not bad for eight pounds. And that's on DVD here in Sainsbury's. Okay, yes, so they had a couple of titles there that I was mainly interested in. Um, I don't think, I might not actually pick them up. I'll wait until we actually get to HMV uh, because I might be able to get what, two for 30, something like that. Um, or maybe, uh, and get them on the HMV Pure Point card as well. So let's hop off over to HMV first and then before we go to Tesco's and see what there is there today. Okay, so I just walked into Powerland in one end, walked straight down past the DVDs, straight out the other end. <laughs> There's not even any point stopping. So anyway, we're just uh, here at HMV, so let's pop in and have a look, see what they got this week. Okay, so we are at HMV, so let's pop in here and have a look, see what we've got this week. So trending this week is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, all the DVDs there. We've got a uh, new season 18 of Family Guy on DVD. So that's 19.99. And over here, let's have a look over here, see what we've got. Uh, we've got Adrift there on DVD, NCIS. Succession, the complete first season. I don't think I'll. Is that, that's Brian Cox, isn't it? Yeah, no, I haven't really heard of that. Uh, we also have a film called Patrick. I guess the dog may be called Patrick. I, I don't know. But Tag there also on DVD. And uh, Mandy as well. And what have we got over here? Uh, we've got the standard Blu ray for Mandy. And we've got the complete Batman animated movies for £60. Heavy box. A very nice looking box with some nice spot gloss. But, well, that's one way to waste 60 quid. No, thank you. Not at all. What else have we got down here? Uh, right, first reformed. This is an HMV exclusive. I'm not sure I'm interested in that. But there's a drift as well for $14.99. And down here, uh, we've got a new release for Children of Men. Lots of special features on there. I don't like the clear cases. I'd rather not have the clear cases on those. What else we've got here? And up here, we've got the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom HMV exclusive still book for £30. I still think these still books are overpriced, but it does include the 4K and the 3D, so that's good. Uh, down here, I've got some more 4Ks, Solo, uh, Superman, uh, Spooperman, uh, that's today's new release, £19.99, so nice price, not 25 quid. And down here, we've got the Logan exclusive, I think it's a gatefold packaging, maybe. I'm not sure, but it's one of the recent releases, so that looks quite good. And that's $21.99. Over here uh, on the 4K, 310 to humour, which I wasn't really hot on that movie. And we've got a couple of exclusive uh, little previews here of upcoming titles. They seem to have rearranged all their 4Ks as well. They're much more manageable and and are all over the place now, so that's really good. Let's see what else we can find down here. Uh, right down here, oh yeah, we've got the uh, the first purge, the still book, for thirty pounds. And down the bottom is the two thousand and one. 
Okay, so just came out of HMV. Um, quite a few new titles in. Um, I did pick up quite a hefty bag. Look, we got Jurassic World on one side. And if I turn it around, Skyscraper. Cool. Not all of the titles are for me. Um, a couple of them are for a guy overseas that I ship lots of Marvel stuff to. So I'll pick them up. Um, he also wanted me to pick him up a copy of Mandy. Oh, Mandy. Yes, all right. Um, the VHS Retro. I still can't get used to saying that. Uh, it sold out. There's nothing on the website. Nothing in this HMV. Nothing in Maidstone HMV now. Nothing in Canterbury HMV. But I found two copies somewhere. Yes. So I shall be picking up maybe both of those tomorrow morning. Brilliant. But um, yes. Anyway, let's head off over to Tesco's. Um, getting a little bit pecky, so I'm going to get a snack, maybe a baked potato. But we'll have a look at that, the uh, the Blu-rays over there first. Let's go to Tesco's then. Okay, so we're at the local Tesco, so let's pop in and have a look and go and get something to eat. Okay, so here in Tesco's, looks like you get a baby Velociraptor playpen when you buy either the DVD or the Blu-ray. Have a look. Okay, I don't think I'll bother with that. Okay, so we've got the 4K uh, Blu-ray here for £25 and the 3D for £18 plus the standard Blu-ray for £15 and no, I don't think the DVD is £18. That's in the wrong place. Uh, what else have we got? Anything new? Yeah, that's mainly on the Blu-rays. Uh, they got... A drift in here for ten pounds. Tag still didn't see the Blu-ray. That's ten pounds plus also for ten pounds. Uncle Drew as well, which uh, not familiar with that. And there's also a three movie collection uh, for Pitch Perfect as well there on DVD. And also Creed for five pounds. It looks like some of the shelves have been picked over as well. Uh, we've got lots of uh, box sets here, DVD box sets. Men in Black Trilogy on DVD here for seven pounds. And The Hunger Games. And Despicable Me, all three movies there for 15. And uh, we've got some Santa films, some Christmas ones, the, Nati the Nativity series, for eight plus, and uh, the Santa Claus movies. I didn't know there was a Santa Claus three, but uh, there's all three films there for seven pounds. Uh, this is also a new release as well, although I didn't see the Blu-ray today. Uh, the 10th anniversary edition of Twilight. It's got some nice gold foil on there, so that's quite a nice, quite a nice box set. But uh, that's only the DVD series. Uh, I'm sure there's a Blu-ray version of that. And up here, we've got all the uh, Christmas movies. Some of these I've not heard of. Uh, Christmas with the Coopers. There's a nice tinsel type effect on there. Not heard of that one. And a Wonderful Life. All the usual Mr. Beans and the Home Alone series as well. Let's see in Tesco's we've got some Harry Potter stuff so we've got some pops and some little figures and some little plush figures and around here we've got a pop double pack of baby nifflers from the Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, two pound? Ten pounds? No, that looks like that's 20 pounds. Plus, uh, looks like a nice board game there, Hogwarts Battle. 
and some figures as well. Okay, so I think we're done in here, so let's pop over to the cafe and go and get something to eat over there and our lovely cappuccino. Okay, so I have got a jacket potato coming, a lovely cup of cappuccino, while I catch up on the December issue of Home Cinema Choice. See you in a bit. Okay, lovely big potato. A little bit smaller than Dover's one, but size is not matter. And uh, also some nice granary toast. Thrown in some strawberry jam as well. Free of charge. Lovely. Okay, so just come out of Tesco's, having a lovely big potato. Although, wherever I go, it always seems to be a different size baked potato. <laughs> Dover seems to be the best one to get the most whopping baked potato. But yes, that was very nice. And I, they also skimped a little bit on salad as well, on lettuce. But um, you can't have it perfect everywhere, I guess. Um, okay, I'm going to show you what I picked up today. But beforehand, while I was in there drinking my cappuccino, eating my small baked potato, <laughs> oh, shut up moaning boy, um, and reading the latest issue of Home Cinema Choice, um, there was a couple of letters in here that made me gig a little bit, gig, gig a little bit, giggle a little bit. I just want to read them out. Um, this letter comes from Gupreet Bhatia. Uh, no Orville on Blu-ray. I managed to miss the inaugural season of the Orville on Fox HD due to work commitments, but happy to pick up Seth MacFarlane's homage to Star Trek on its release day. So it came with great surprise that 20th Century Fox has decided in its wisdom to release it only on prehistoric DVD format in the UK. <laughs> I love that, prehistoric DVD. Why, when it was shot in HD, did we not get it on Blu-ray? I understand there being no 4K release, but not offering it on Blu-ray makes me wonder why home cinema fans would want to invest in their setups if major studios can't give a shit. Well, it doesn't say that, but <laughs> it says the same type of the same type of thing. I am loath to buy the DVD for this, and will wait in the hope of a future release on a more appropriate higher definition format that will give more pleasurable viewing. Um, An Anton Van Beek of Home Cinema Choice responds, while it would seem that our views on the actual quality of Seth MacFarlane's latest TV outing may be diametrically opposed, I love the series, I too was surprised by the decision not to release it on Blu-ray. Then he remembered that this is 20th Century Fox, a studio that is pretty much bailed on releasing TV shows on Blu-ray. Only a handful of series, such as the big hitters Homeland and American Horror Story, have somehow slipped through the cracks uh, and continue to see new seasons released on HD disc year in, year out. As such, the best you can realistically hope for is the first season performed strong enough on DVD to persuade Fox there's a big enough audience to make a Blu-ray release worthwhile. Yes. Outside of that, it appears you're out of luck as they scoured the internet reveals no Blu-ray release for the Orville in any other territories. Yet, studios such as Warner Brothers churn out Blu-rays every bloody month. You know, Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, all of those come out on Blu-ray. And they are promoted, very well promoted. But um, a series that's shot in HD and looks so good in HD, we're only getting it on prehistoric DVD. Hmm. Yes, thoughts. Hmm. So there's no bloody chance of seeing a TV series on 4K, that's for sure. <laughs> or maybe one or two, but uh, not from Fox. The other one, the other letter that got me was up here. Um, paying 25 quid this is from a guy called Richard paying 25 quid for a movie looking to America for titles unavailable in the UK not having to think about region coding wishing that catalogue wasn't still so meagre 
eagerly scanning lists of new releases to see if our special favourites have finally graduated to the premium format, how amusing it is that collecting UHD Blu-rays in 2018 feels exactly the same as collecting 12-inch Laserdiscs back in 1993. I think I actually agree with that. It's not for the mainstream. I don't think 4K is ever going to maybe be for the for the mainstream. You know, you're not going to get John and Beryl with a couple of kids walking into Tesco and say, oh, should we pick up this 4K? No, they're going to go for the DVD. So, yes, it's a preferred format for people that are really into their cinema. Like me. <laughs> And all the other people. I used to buy laser discs. I loved laser discs, hunting for them high and low. But uh, yes, um, funny, yes. But uh, that's what we've got anyway. So we have to make lump on use of it, don't we? So a couple of little funny little comments in there, little letters in cin home cinema choice. But yes, bloody hell. I was intent on going out on day one to buy the Orville on Blu-ray. I refuse to buy the Orville on DVD. Piss off. Right, okie dokie. So let's get to today's to, 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 to today's pickups. Okay, I picked up a couple of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom still books for a guy overseas. Um, so I'll get those shipped to him next month or the end of the month because there's a couple of other titles that we're waiting for before I ship him out um, and I've probably got mm, oh god shit loads of stuff for him to, sh to ship it's probably going to be at least about 50 still books and we're talking high profile ones here like 50 quid Thor still books so um, each yes so um, he's a big buyer of Specifically Thor, Marvel, Captain America and all that kind of shit. Michael, where do you get your money? <laughs> God, I wish I had your wage. <laughs> anyway, so let's get down to what I picked up today. I picked up some stuff. Oh, you pissing fuckers. Okie dokie. Well... <sighs> HMV, you know they have these stupid, stupid little hubs that go in there. Well, this bloke couldn't get this hub out and literally he was going on this thing and it was bashing it and bashing it and I thought, don't fucking bash it too much, mate. You damage it. And it's torn, torn some of the cover off here, as you can see. And it was the only copy they had. What a twat. Oh, dear me. Right, okay. I don't think I can even glue that down. Anyway, so... I shall show you what I picked up. So, um, I still couldn't get the 4K of They Live and The Fog. They had one of them, but I wasn't really interested in just picking one of them up. So, I thought they had both The Fog and They Live in the 14.99 or two for 25 on the blu-ray so i thought pick them up pick them up so it makes 12 pound 50 each i'll get to review them. there's brand new restorations on them i do like the artwork i really do like the artwork on these um plus also there's the escape from new york as well so i'll probably pick that one up in blu-ray maybe pick them up in 4k somewhere down the road but there's the two titles. One's not quite white. The fog's not quite white. Well, of course it's not. It's foggy, isn't it? <laughs> yes, so there's my brand new restoration for the fog. A week late. So looking forward to seeing that as part of A Carpenter's Tale soon. And there's also my They Live with its torn cover. Yes, I know it's right on the very edge, but it's really bloody annoying because these were really nice slips. So there's my They Live. Uh, and the two big titles today I picked up are I picked up uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And I picked up the 4K regular edition 
I know the steelbook's got... Um, what's the steelbook got? The steelbook's got the 4K and it's got the 3D edition as well. Uh, but the 3D's pretty pants, really. It's not very good 3D. So I thought... Well, I know I've got the steelbooks for the other two, but none of them match. <laughs> so, um, yes. Anyway, so... I prefer this. I prefer a nice artwork on the cover rather than just a black cover with... Yes, I much prefer it with the, with the nice picture on the front. So that is my Jurassic World uh, with an intact cover, thank God. Uh, and also another one I picked up, which is also a new release today. Uh, and that is... Spooperman. <laughs> Superman. Oh, yes. And this is going to look glorious. I wonder what this is going to look like in 4K. Wow. Especially with the HDR and the, the nice red and the blue and the yellow. I bet all these colours are really going to pop. So, yes, I'm looking forward to that. So, there's my pickups. Just four pickups for myself today. There we go. Look at that glorious 4K on Blu-ray. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Happy with those. Uh, not happy about the They Live cover, the sleeve. Um, I mean, they did have other copies of They Live, but only one with a slip. So, oh, well. These things happen, but uh, I wish the staff would be more careful. Um when it comes to things like blu-ray covers and stuff like that because i mean you only had to look at that complete batman animated series there on blu-ray with a hub around it bug at the top again just like they did in um in maidstone and even if i was going to pick that up today there's no way in hell i'd pick that up for 60 quid so hmv with all this pissing about with your hubs and shit and treating covers like this you're driving me to the internet. I'm seriously considering my future purchases on Amazon and, and Zavi and places like that. So be careful. Whatever you do, be careful. But um, yes, that's my pickups. So I hope you enjoyed today's little Blu-ray outing. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to mention... After Christmas, uh, early in the new year, maybe the first week or two of January 2019, yes, I'm starting a Patreon account. I know, a Patreon account. What's a Patreon account? <laughs> um, it's a place where you can sign up for benefits um, by pledging your love for Big Paulie, plus some money as well. <laughs> <laughs> and it will go into um, making videos better, funding new pieces of equipment and purchases to review and all that kind of shit. Uh, and will keep me in um, a nice supply of cappuccino as well. <laughs> I'll give you all the heads up and all the bits and pieces in the new year. But I'm going through a list of what we're going to have for the benefits for each different tier. I'm going to have about four different tiers. No, I'm not crying. Not that type of tier. Uh, we're going to have things like, you know, once you sign up uh, on a monthly basis, then there'll be things like um, early access to the Poundland bin videos and the Blu-ray hunts. I know, early access to Blu-ray hunting. You can't ignore that. <laughs> um, a Patreon only Q&A session that kind of thing um, we'll have suggestions you know you can suggest what films I can review and I'll review them for you uh, plus also scavenger hunt I haven't done a scavenger hunt so it's going to be one of my first scavenger hunts in the new year if you don't know what that is um you mention things to do or things to buy while i'm out blu-ray hunting so you send me a list of you know uh go into tesco's and pick up the first blu-ray that begins with a letter f and i've got to pick up a blu-ray that begins with a letter f 
yeah, that kind of thing. That's a scavenger hunt. So that'll be interesting because I haven't done anything like that before. That will be a new session. Yes. And also uh, the top tier, if you want to hit the top tier, you can have a monthly one-on-one -on -one video session with me. <laughs> yes, an hour's one-on-one -on -one video session with the one and only Big Paulie. God, is that sad or something? <laughs> we can have a chat. You can tell me all about your life, your movie collection. Show me some shit. I'll show you some shit. We'll all show everybody some shit. Um, and we'll have a good old chat. And um, that'll be on one of the top tiers. So you're talking about, you know, you've got to donate a grand a month. <laughs> Only joking. But yes, that will be included in one of the tiers. But I'm still finalising it. So I'll give you the heads up with a special video and all the link and everything to the Patreon page in the new year. Yes. Exciting times are coming for Big Paulie. Oh, yes. <laughs> So, hope you enjoyed it, and um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you've subscribed so you can get all the latest local videos. And I'll see you on the next video. Oh yes, and by the way, bloody hell, I really do need a haircut. I'm starting to look like Billy Ray Cyrus did in the 90s, oh crap. <laughs> um, in a couple of days time probably Friday Friday or Saturday I've got a mega unboxing this is subscriber mail I've got probably about four lots of subscriber mail we're going to unbox from jiffy bags to packets and a box that big I know <laughs> <laughs> so that going to look forward to unboxing all that stuff in a couple of days so till next time bye everyone <laughs>